Well, hello there, everyone. This is Raging Amish, and I'm doing a commentary, and I know some of you are going, oh, no, a commentary. I'm doing this one because when I mentioned that I am a mechanical engineer, a lot of people said, hey, can you tell us a little bit more about that? A lot of people came to me asking about advice on what it's like to be an engineer, what to do to become an engineer, and I gotta admit, I don't know if I'm really the right source, but I decided that if me telling you my story of how I became an engineer, why I chose to be an engineer helps, I'll do that. And I think that would address almost every question that came my way, like saying, you know, what school did you choose? What did you like about it? I'll just explain my story, how I ended up as an engineer, and it won't have anything to do with my gameplay, uh, the gameplay you're seeing. The gameplay you see in front of you is just very representative of how I play. It's aggressive, tends to bite me in the ass, but, more often than not, the payoff is good. It's just every once in a while it truly hurts. But, hey, whatever. It's just how I like to play. I like to run into a lot of places. I like to call it, uh, well, I, I guess you could call it just like aggressive camping. I don't know. Like, I run from point to cover to point to cover. I don't stay there long. So I try and prevent the enemy from seeing me in their line of sight, but keep my line of sight very large so I have something to aim at. I don't know. You guys can watch it and make, make your own judgment. I, eh, yeah. That, that's all I'm going to say about the gameplay. So, for me, starting off as an engineer, it really started in high school. In high school, I knew I wanted to go to college. I knew I wanted to get a four-year Bachelor of Science. And I knew that I wanted to do something with numbers, but I didn't really know what I wanted to do. So I intentionally chose a college that offered physics, math, and engineering. And I know some of you are going to say, oh, where'd you go to college? Well, I'm not going to say that. Sorry, I have enough stalkers as is. Um, and I was really looking for something that would just let me choose and flesh it out during my college career. And I did. In my freshman year, I started off as a math major and said, no, I hate this. There's nothing practical at all about this. All these formulas, and it was like, Who's going to use this? No, it isn't going to help me at anything practical. I'm not going to be able to make something. I'm not going to be able to do anything. So I said, no. No math, no physics. I went engineering. I liked it because you, you, your job was essentially problem solving. And yes, numbers could be a part of it, but your job was problem solving. And I like that. It's practical. There's payoff to what you're doing. So that's why I chose engineering. And I got to tell you, if you're choosing to be an engineer... Not to be a martyr, but you choose to work hard. That's just what comes with the territory. For instance, in college, most people have four classes a semester. Engineers at my college had five. And that's not including labs. Like, I'm saying, like, you had five classes, you went to the classroom, there could have been labs. You could have up to, like, three labs, so say eight classes. We're talking along the lines of, say, if you have three labs, we'd be talking along the lines of, let me see, that'd be eight times three hours, 24 hours a class a week. And you're going, oh, that's not bad. You get a ton of homework, so that makes it like a 60-plus work hour a week. Engineers do get to party, and trust me, I had some fun times when I was in college, but I worked hard, and it's just a part of the, it's a part of the degree. Yes, it's a pain to work that hard, but the fact is, engineers are some of the few majors that can come straight out of college and go straight into the workforce, and that's a big part of an advantage to becoming an engineer. But anyway, that's just some of it. Um... I graduated, didn't really graduate anything special in my class, I was middle of the road. Um, I came out as a mechanical engineer, worked with a professor for my last year doing a senior project, and I was looking for work. Uh, I gotta tell you right now, the economy is brutal because I had a hard time finding a company, and I spent six months searching for a job. I worked with my father in the meantime at a greenhouse. It was just nonstop searching, and really... What it was is that in the last two months, I was like, all right, time to kick into the networking. I started... One second. Speak of the devil, that was my dad. I'm back. Uh, where was I? Oh, yes. I was like, all right, time to kick in with the networking. So I started uh, going back to uh, my college's uh, career company website. I don't know what you want to call it. And I also got in contact with a placement agency. And if you don't know what a placement agency, it's basically a place where their job is to take people that come to them and say, look, I have this skill set, I want to do something with it, can you help me find a job? And they say, yes, we'll do it. That is their job. Their job is to find other people jobs. And 
I walked in there, and in a week, they said, we have a place in mind for you, and I went through the interview process almost immediately, and before you knew it, I was in the door at my current employment, and I'm not going to say where I'm employed either. Sorry, I have enough stalkers. So, that's where I am at now. Um, went through all the stuff in high school, college. I do not regret it. I would advise anybody that's considering engineering to strongly look at it. And I don't mean just mechanical. I chose mechanical engineering. That is my degree. Any type of engineering works. So, civil, environmental, uh, chemical, electrical, whatever. If there's an engineering type field and it interests you, it's a great career choice. It will keep you employed until you're retired. I promise you that. It is just, there will always be a need for engineers because people will always be making stuff. They will always need somebody that can design it. But for me, I'm working for a company that makes cables for, a, for trucks. And I know a lot of you are going, battery cables, that sounds dull. Well, a lot of you would probably say the same thing about reviewing a gun, but I enjoy that too. It's just part of my mindset, so I enjoy it. I love it. I gotta tell you, being an engineer is a great thrill. If anything, the only thing I don't like is that you really are pedal to the metal, thinking, mind full out, eight hours a day. And I know some of you are going, that's not so bad. Try it, and then come back and say it. It's really, you're going to come home and just have a mental brain fart. You're like, I'm done. But other than that, everything is great. I like where I'm at. And I apologize to everybody that's watching the site going, why don't you put out more content? It's just but not part of what I do. I put out content that I think is appropriate. I prefer quality over quantity. So I won't force things. So if anything, because I'm now employed as an engineer, I don't think I have as much time to do reviews. And that doesn't mean drastic slowdown, but it does mean something like a review every seven days. And if it's a primary, we could be pushing it towards eight or nine days. And if that's the case, I'll put out something in between, like I'm doing right now. I don't anticipate having the Kipparis review, Kiparis review, Cypress. And yes, I'm throwing out a different, different, bleh, bleh, bleh. I'm throwing out a bunch of different pronunciations because I know people are going to argue with me about how to pronounce it. But anyway, I'm on it. I'm working on it. I want to get it out soon, but. I want to keep my priorities straight with my site, which is to keep quality over quantity. So, have a good one, guys. I will see you later.